Hi everyone and welcome to Easy Learning. So today we are going to cover part 15 which is about classical and operant conditioning. So basically we learned about behavior in previous slides and it was related to the assumption or belief that behavior is learned or acquired through environmental influence. So basically classical and operant conditioning are the ways through which behavior is acquired as per behaviorism. Classical conditioning developed by Ivan Pavlov. Classical conditioning is a learning process that occurs when two stimuli are repeatedly paired. Eventually, the neutral stimuli becomes associated with the unconditioned stimulus and elicits a conditioned response. So basically, uh, we are pairing two different stimuli. One is neutral, the other one is unconditioned. And when we pair them, when we associate them, it elicits a conditioned response. Uh, we will go through an example to understand this. A dog salivating, conditioned response. When hearing a bell, conditioned stimulus, because it has been associated with food, unconditioned stimulus. So food is an unconditioned stimulus. Like, so a dog is given food, he will eat it. It's an stimulus, it's an unconditioned stimulus. But when we are ringing a bell, whenever the food is given, so basically we are conditioning the bell with the food. We are associating that when the bell with the food, because we are making the dog believe that whenever the bell is ringing, the food is given to them. So basically the bell, which was a neutral stimulus, the food which was an unconditioned stimulus now the food is given after every bell so the bell is becoming conditioned stimulus from a neutral stimulus and dog is doing what in response he is salivating which means which is a conditioned response operant conditioning is another type of conditioning or learning which is developed by B.F. Skinner. It focuses on how behaviors are influenced by their consequences. Behavior that is followed by reinforcement is more likely to be repeated, while behavior followed by punishment is less likely to be repeated. So basically the classical conditioning was about the conditioned response about the neutral uh, stimuli, about the unconditioned stimuli. Now, operant conditioning is about consequence. So, if I am uh, doing an action and uh, a reinforcement is given to me for that action, I am more likely to repeat that action. But if I did something and I got punished for that, I am less likely to repeat it. For example, I, uh, I completed my homework I completed my classwork, I completed my assignment and my teacher praised me. So a reinforcement is given to me and I am more likely to complete my assignments on time from now on. So this way my behavior, my future behavior was influenced by the reinforcement which means influenced by the consequence and so on. If I am not doing my homework, if I am not doing my assignment and the teacher is punishing so this way I will not doing the homework thing, not doing the assignment thing. I will start completing the task and this way my behavior again was influenced by the consequence I received. So operant conditioning is all about the consequence, either reinforcement or punishment. For example, a child receives a treat, positive reinforcement for completing their homework increasing the likelihood of them doing homework in future. Coming towards the MCQ. In classical conditioning, what happens during the acquisition phase? The neutral stimulus is paired with the unconditioned stimulus to elicit a conditioned response. You need to remember this sequence that NS, US, CR. NS is paired with US, to elicit what a CR. Which of the following is an example of negative reinforcement?
a parent stops nagging when a child cleans their room. In Pavlov's experiment, which element was the conditioned stimulus? The sound of the bell. In operant conditioning, what is the purpose of punishment? To decrease the frequency of a behavior by adding or removing a stimulus. Which of the following demonstrates extinction in operant conditioning? A child stops asking for candy because their parent no longer gives it to them. This was all about today.